Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Teddy Chenaris, and I'd like to welcome you to a video that I'm calling Three Reasons Why Console Players Should Be Excited About Stardew Valley. Before we get started, I'd just like to say that the gameplay that you're seeing right now was captured about 20 minutes ago. I recorded about 20 minutes of footage just going through a day in game time. I ran around to a bunch of different places as well, so I can show you certain cool aspects of the game. If you see me pressing the wrong buttons or anything like that, it's been months since I've hopped into the game, so I had to get reacclimated. All right. Let's get this started, shall we? So reason number one of why console players should be excited about Stardew Valley is because it's super addictive. The gameplay loop gives you that perfect, oh, I'll just do one more task real quick and then I'll get off. But the catch is, the only time that the game saves is at the end of the day. So every day you wake up and the clock starts ticking. You have until 2 a.m. to complete any task you'd like, and you also have an energy bar to manage. Almost everything you do costs energy. You water a plant, energy. You cast your fishing rod, energy. You swing your sword, Surprisingly, no energy, but that's beside the point. The game taps into the OCD and completionist sides of my brain. Every day I woke up at my beautiful farm, it was always how much stuff can I do in a single day? You have to manage your energy, time, and other restraints in order to accomplish whatever fun little goal you put out for yourself. Abigail's a pretty cool chick. I'm 20 hours in and I'm still friend zoned. I gotta get to work on that. Reason number two, which I slightly touched on the previous reason, is that the game has so much content. There's so much stuff for you to do. You can go mining, fishing, raise some animals, plant crops, water your crops, and then sell them at the end for big money. You can even stop by the saloon and play a video game inside your video game. It's pretty meta. And every day you wake up presents an opportunity for something new. I was 10 hours in before I was able to adopt a dog. I was very happy about that because dogs are fantastic. Maybe it's the spring egg festival. Will Abigail beat you in said egg festival? Probably. But that's okay, because you can just get married later, and then it's all just water under the bridge. But that's the thing, man. The relationship system is great. I want to become friends with the town's elderly couple, George and Evelyn. What makes George hate those darn local skateboarding teens so much? I remember reading on the subreddit that it took one player 150 plus hours to complete the community center. This isn't even all the content, but I don't want to spoil everything. I don't know if I could spoil everything, really, because there are so many secrets. Just know that there is easily hundreds of hours of content in this $15 game if you end up loving it like a lot of people do. And the last but definitely not least reason why you as a console player should be excited for Stardew Valley coming to your system is because this game is super charming and relaxing. It's perfect for lounging on your couch and looking at your big TV and managing your farm, talking to your friends in town, going for a little night fishing, maybe even raising some chickens. The art style and sounds of the game are definitely adorable. It's very fitting for this type of world. The vibrant colors of the game made me just want to be in that world. And the idea of leaving your corporate job to manage your own farm, away from all the hustle and bustle, might just be the escapism that you need in your life after a hard day at work or school. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can't tell, I really like this game, and I'm looking forward to it coming to my main platform, PS4, in the fall. The developer, and yeah, the game was made by one person, said that Stardew Valley is coming to PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U in quarter four, 2016. But guys, I believe that if we try hard enough, we can get it to Vita, cross save, cross buy, please. Let's make it happen. Tweet at Concerned Ape. Tell him you want it on Vita, because I, I really do. All right, but thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment letting me know if you are excited and come check me out on Twitch. I am twitch.tv slash and I will see you later.